do you need, my Thane? Long life to you, Thane. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. Again, again. Do the part where he tries to buy you some candy. Okay, okay, wait. Here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. With the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh, yes. How about some chocolate? Oh, yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone. And I'm so very hungry. I know a contract in the candy shop. Through this alley. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Mine's dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! No, <laughs> <laughs> bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes, please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damn messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy kiss and a little kitty. How adorable! <laughs> <laughs> I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. Ha <laughs> 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 So, you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. Ah, going for the mysterious and brooding thing, huh? That may work for your targets, 
but you'll find I'm not so easily impressed. Astrid said you'd have some work for me. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. Sounds simple enough? It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. I'm ready for the first set of contracts. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytil, a mine boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed. You're not supposed to be in here. I'm not going to warn you again. Get out or... <laughs> a woman get a moment to herself leave me
Why are you here? Get away from me! Who are you? You... You're with the Dark Brotherhood, ain't you? I knew it! I knew you'd come for me! No more! I yield! I yield! Night Mother is mother to all. It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And surely punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero. I, for one, am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn Our Lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood? Husband? Her. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. Do you have a contract for me? I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Anything else? Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. How went your meeting with Enodius Papias? Did you prove his paranoia legitimate? Enodius Papias is dead. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Your payment for a job well done. Narfi is dead. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. Baytild is dead. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. Do you have any more contracts? I'm sorry, I don't. Come see me again later. Pretty, pretty flowers. Ah, another member of the family! Hello, hello! So very good to meet you!
It's good to meet you too, Cicero. So polite, so nice. Cicero likes you. The Night Mother is sure to like you too. Oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. What can you tell me about yourself? Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. I look after our matron, you see, the Night Mother. I keep her clean and protected and... <laughs> happy. But I am not the listener. Oh, no. There is no listener. Not yet. But someday, someday, someday. I pray that one will come to hear her. Say... the words. <laughs> the listener? What's a listener? Oh, well, the listener is the only person the Night Mother speaks to. It is the highest honor attainable by a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Of course, our lady is dead, so she doesn't talk with words, since her lips are rotted. But inside the listener's head, I hear it's intimate. Ah, but there has not been a listener in years and years. Our lady has not chosen Cicero, and certainly not Astrid, or anyone. But someday. Why did you come to the sanctuary? The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was desecrated. The Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home. Here, this is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Such was my honor as Keeper. What are the duties of a Keeper? Cicero takes care of Our Lady's body, oils it, preserves it, keeps it safe, makes sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. Who is the Night Mother? Oh, what? Who is the Night Mother? Oh, oh, you jest. <laughs> you jest with gullible Cicero. <laughs> you, of course, know that the Night Mother is our unholy matron. The undying spirit of a great woman who birthed the children of Sithis. And killed them <laughs> in his honor. Tell me about Sithis. Which weapon to use. Hmm. That's like telling you about the cold of space. Or terror of midnight. Sithis is all those things. He is the void. Oh yes, goodbye, goodbye. Oh, must oil mother soon. looking at me like that. The Dark Brotherhood has come, Mori. The Dark Brotherhood... Oh, oh, I... My goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. It actually worked? Obviously. Now tell me what you need. What I need? What I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. I'll need more to go on than that. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin. Raldbathar. It's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, 
Find Elaine Dufont and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. It will be done. Excellent. Once Elaine is dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. But... Well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. I'm listening. If you can, I want you to kill someone else, as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. It's Nilsine Shattershield, in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies, too, I'll make it worth your while. Is there anything else? I planned to kill Elaine myself, you know. Nilsine, too. But lost my nerve. I even brewed a special poison. Lotus extract. Maybe you could use it? Just coat your weapon with it. Then... you get the idea. Make I've been looking for you. For That's something I'm you. supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I have a letter here for you. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Ares the boss. Should talk to her if you want work. I don't need to talk to you. Get lost. My joy knows no bounds. Here. A little payment for your troubles. I trust we'll never need to speak of this again. To anyone. It's a bad time to get lost, you stupid crap.
What? Did you need something? Muri sent me. She's quite unhappy. Moiri? I can't believe my family trusted that backstabbing little strumpet. You tell her she's dead to us. You hear me? Dead! Fruits and vegetables, all ripe and ready for your table. Come and browse my fine collection. Everything's fresh and delicious. Destruction magic's fine. Just don't go burning down any buildings. you could get away. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? You caught me. I'll pay off my bounty. Smart woman. Now, come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods, and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Soon will rid Skyrim of elves, their bloody just the cars, and the yard in their pockets. The whole damn lot of them. Cookware, knives, and other goods for the home. Oh, oh, no. Well, what news? Is Elaine? Alain Dufon now lies dead. Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. And I heard about Nilsin. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this. 
as payment and a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you. Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? I live only to serve. Hail Sithis! Oh, very good. Very good indeed. You, my dear, are going to fit in here quite nicely. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more... Mm, personal nature. Is something wrong? It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... <laughs> well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad. But it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. Astrid, you're being a bit paranoid. Maybe so, but healthy paranoia has saved this sanctuary before. And my gut's telling me that demented little fool is up to something. What do you want me to do? Dear sister, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No. You need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. But that seems so... disrespectful. Be that as it may, we have no other choice. You need to remain unseen. Now go, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Represent us well, sister. Alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you, hmm? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do, hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble sir. But he will never hear my voice, for he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you, for you are the one. 
you. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bones. I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard, but I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? What treachery? Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! The Night Mother spoke to me. She said I am the one. She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit! You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! Wait, she said to tell you. Darkness rises when silence dies. She... she said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know, mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then, it's true, she's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you! <laughs> All hail the listener! <laughs> By Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you alright? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. Oh, I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no. She spoke only to her. To the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true. It's true. The Night Mother has spoken. The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? It's true. The Night Mother spoke to me. She said I was the one. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just... the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? Yes. By Sithis. And? What did she say? I must speak to someone named Amand Motiera in Volenrude. Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Volenrude. That I have heard of. And I know where it is. So I should go to Volenrude? I should talk to this man? Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... 
I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Oh, you are the listener! You are the listener! I have served Mother well, I have! <laughs> what exactly does a listener do? Oh, the listener... well... listens. <laughs> the Night Mother speaks to you, guides you on your path. But when the Night Mother speaks, the listener must obey. You must, for her word is the will of Sithis, and Sithis is the Dark Brotherhood <gasps> incarnate. Will the Night Mother speak to me again? Surely you're pulling Cicero's leg! Wait! <laughs> the listener is serious! <laughs> oh. Well, of course the Night Mother will speak to you again. She might speak now, or later, or... I don't know. But speak she will. The Night Mother is part of you now. You get to hear voices inside your head. The rest of us should be so lucky. Cicero, did you want to be the listener? Oh, well, yes, I did. I did indeed. I tried to listen, <laughs> tried so hard, but the Night Mother never spoke to poor Cicero. The silence became almost maddening. Oh, but that was then. This is now. You're the listener, and the Night Mother chose you for a reason, I'm sure. Cicero will remain the happy keeper. What can you tell me about yourself? Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. I look after our matron, you see, the Night Mother. I keep her clean and protected and... happy. Oh, but I'm not the listener. Oh, no. <laughs> you are the listener. You heard the words. And everything will soon be put right. Are you excited? Oh, you should be. Things are finally looking up. You reek of death, my friend. I salute you. Still here? What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way? Astrid wanted me to see you about some more work. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. to spend please sure whatever you want 1000 gold you're the best thanks
I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Let you live this time. Anybody there? Anybody there? Anybody there? Hello? Who's there? I guess I was just hearing things. Finally, someone comes in. Kick off your boots, stay a while. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I got nothing but time these days. Is the line for my next performance starting already? <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Plenty of room for everyone. Sing me a song, Bard. A song of fear and death. Hmm. All right. How about this? Shadows creep. And... and phantoms leap. A man's got... he's got scared. And the demons dare to... uh... visit upon him. All which... they feared. Brilliant. I know. It's a gift.
Time to end this little game. Time to finish this! No! We need to talk. Of course, Astrid. What is it? Look. Something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but... Well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree. Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier. And let's see where all this leads, hmm? Must be my little adventure on the ship. By Sithis, you slew everyone. Well, except that one you kept alive to serve as witness. Does your wickedness or your skill know no bounds? Hmm. <laughs> been a while since I've actually cleaved someone in two. I forgot how hard it was to get the scimitar back out. Need something? Lurbuck is dead. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and... mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. Hearn is dead. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Else you'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Are there any more contracts available? Well, aren't we the eager one? Sorry to disappoint, but there's nothing. Try me again later. By the almighty divines, you've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. The Night Mother heard your pleas, Motiera. Yes, um, so it would seem. Well, I won't waste your time. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say, the work I'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in, well, centuries. Go on. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets as well as their manners of elimination quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of the Emperor. 
You want us to kill the Emperor of Tamriel? That is correct. What I ask is no small thing, of course. But you represent the Dark Brotherhood. This is what you do, no? You must understand. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now, it's as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, take these. They need to be delivered to your... Um, superior. Rexus? The items. Here. Here. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Is there something else you need? We'll require significant compensation. Can you pay the price? <laughs> oh, my furtive friend. When Emperor Titus Mead II lies dead, there will be gold. A fortune in gold. But so much more. It is said that the Dark Brotherhood in recent years has been in decline. That you lack the power, wealth, and respect of days past. Is it not so? If you do this, if you kill the Emperor, oh, how the masses will fear and respect you! You can trust your servant to keep this secret? Oh, Rexus is no mere servant. He has been with the Motier family since I was a child. I trust the man with my life. Why do this? Why have the Emperor assassinated? In the year 3E41, Emperor Pelagius Septim was murdered in the Temple of the One in the Imperial City, cut down by a Dark Brotherhood assassin. His killing ushered in, shall we say, a necessary change in Imperial policy. There are those now who wish for a similar change. I am sorry, but that's all I'm at liberty to say. You must deliver those items to your superior, and I... I must get out of this foul place. I have vowed to serve Armand Mottier until my dying breath. Best remember that. Is there something else you need? Is there something else you need?
Bus, roda! Bus, roda!
your back. Good. All right, so? Did you meet this Motier? What did he want? Motiera wants us to kill the Emperor. You're joking. What's this? The letter explains it all. The amulet is for expenses. By Sithis? You're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. Surely the Night Mother wouldn't misdirect us. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what. But what we now have before us... So we'll accept the contract? <laughs> You're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... Uh -huh, history. He can be trusted. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I have a letter here for you. Looks like that's it. Got to go. What have you got for sale? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. 